Hi, I'm Omid, and today I came with an amazing problem in Power Query and tried to solve it by table.group. The problem is published on my LinkedIn page as a challenge too, like this. In this problem, historical cost is provided and we want to grouping the rows. In term that, in each group, the total cost would be lower than 130. Several solutions are provided by Chris, by Carlos, by Navid, and other Mohammed, Ramiro, Bo, and others. But here I am going to show you how to use table.group to solve this problem. So consider this data. I have loaded into the Power Query. This is the data, and I want to use table.group to grouping this data. But before that, I add a new column, namely index column. So by grouping data, I'm going to use date for grouping and provide all rows and press OK. The result would be like this. In each group, there is just one row because the dates are almost unique in the data. The formula would be like this. The first input is add index, the previous column. The second is the grouping criteria. And the third input is the operation function. I do not need this part. So to shorten the formula, let's remove this part without changing under results. Previously, I talked about table.group in depth in another video. And now I'm going to use the tips presented there to solve this problem. So I'm putting the first argument of this function as zero to change the grouping logic from global to the local. And then use the fifth argument. The fifth argument should be in type a custom function with two arguments. So write x and y as the argument of custom function and use the sign of custom function by entering equal and greater than the result of this function should be zero or one if the result would be one for any row the grouping the previous grouping would be a stop and new grouping will be started uh, x and y represent a row of this table at the beginning x is this row y is the second row so the custom function is going to evaluate it if the result would be one, the grouping of the first grouping would be stopped and new grouping will be started from the row two. But if the result of custom function would be something different than, than one, the grouping will be continue and y will be changed to the next row. And if for the next row, the result of custom function would be one, the grouping for previous group would be stopped and new grouping will be started. But if the result would be zero, y will be changed to the next row, next row, next row until find a row which they convert the value of custom function to one. But be careful about x and y because both of them are in type record. Uh, x represents this row. So it is each row of the a table in Power Query is uh, considered this, is in type record. So x and y are record with x. So let's write here. To convert the value, any value of the formula from true, false, two, zero, and one, I use number dot from and put the formula inside this. What is the formula? Uh, the formula would be list dot sum. I should sum all the values on the column of cost from the beginning. So list dot sum. But which list that sum? List that range because I just need a range of data. But before going next, let's rename this column to make it more simple. Add index, remove the space here and replace it by underline. Yeah, it makes my formula more simple. So I'm going to use list that range. List that range uh, started from range is on added column column cost so I'm going to use this copy and paste it here column cost 
out of all the value here I need the x index as a start point and y index minus x index as a length of a range so let's check it here if imagine we are in the first row here x index is 0 and y index is 1 so we are in the formula we mentioned that select the this table column cost this table column cost would be a list of this value and we use list range to extract a sub list of this data which started from 0 at the beginning of data and its length is 1 we just need one value and we are going to comparing these results the result of list.sum here with value 113 if it would be greater than this value it should be a stop so let's press ok in this error we facing that uh, index is not cannot be found in the record x or record y because we do not use them here so let's add it index here also the result would be like this for the first grouping see that sum of all the value would be a greater than 113 but we need to stop the grouping one row before the, the last row so here we are going to add value 1 to uh, move the grouping one row later the result would be like this 0 1 the sum of these value would be less than 113 there this value also the same and this uh, formula uh, be okay for all the rows we need to add the grouping index so let's add a column index column uh, here i'm going to use one to a starting point of these and let's write group index as the name of the column yeah remove these two column and expand this one the result would be like this which each row is grouped separately based on the sum of index value on that group 